Pace University's Master of Arts in Management for the Public Safety and Homeland Security Professional prepares students to meet the challenges, both man-made and natural, in a post-9-11 environment. So we provide the students the skills necessary to develop and prepare uh, large-scale planning, safety plans for both the private and public sector. The uniqueness of Pace University is that we're located four blocks from the World Trade Center. We were directly impacted uh, by what happened on September 11th. We have about, I would say, about 30 students who lost their lives that day. So it comes home to us. It's a personal issue for us. Our master's program, to shorten the title, is a master's in Homeland Security. But it's also about leadership. It's also about management. If it, an event of some catastrophic nature uh, comes about, these managers should be able to learn to adapt and figure out what's the best strategy. Predominantly it's online, so it's flexible and it can accommodate the work schedules of our students. Pace University partnered with the Center for Defense and Homeland Security benefits students by providing them access to the center's curriculum, their libraries, and their distance learning technologies in, a, in addition to a host of other resources that the center provides. And lastly, it's transferable. It's a degree in management, and the skills and knowledges that they acquire over the course of this program are therefore transferable beyond the public safety and homeland security sectors. We recognize individuals do not have a lot of free time, so we'd like to get them out of here in two years at the most. To do that, we have a six-day re residency requirement over that two-year period, and the rest of it goes online. Today we're going to be talking about the national incident. And when it does go online, we also have the capacity to have video conferences on a weekly basis. When students have any questions, they can always call us, ask for a video chat with us, and we can do all those things. So it's really taking the classroom and bringing it home to the students. Personally, the online program was really what made the decision easy for me. It was the convenience factor. You know, I, I have, I wear many hats at work. I have three children at home, a uh, full-time father. Homeland Security is something that really affects everyone, policing especially. And ever since the terrorism attacks of 9-11, I, I think policing has certainly changed forever. Uh, it opened up my, my eyes to the big picture, to the international and national perspectives on, on terrorism and I feel much more confident and prepared uh, in my current role as a police officer. I think the cadre of instructors that we've had are outstanding. Uh, we're really fortunate to uh, be mentored, be taught by individuals that have a wealth of experience, uh, diversity uh, of their current or past roles that really enhance both the learning experience but you know the process of how you think and how you examine your um, analyses with the lens of some of this experience. The greatest takeaway is what I wanted out of it and that was growing beyond who I am when I started the program. Uh, getting exposure to some of the, the national, the international community in this field and breaking out of the, the plans, the activities that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. A number of the classes that we took focused on management, handling people, working outside of our usual comfort zone. On a small department it's easy to sort of do what you do the same way all the time and these classes taught me that sometimes we have to look outside of our usual comfort zone and find new people and new partners to do the job that we're doing. I would recommend the program at Pace University very highly. The students who were there came from a range of different backgrounds. There were a number of people with different levels of experience and it was interesting to get all those different perspectives in. We learned a lot of factual material, but I've accessed that network of people both in the, the group that I was in and in previous groups have helped me out uh, professionally and I continue to count on them. We tend to just focus within the area of our county and what we're realizing is that obviously the crime that occurs in our county occurs all over the world and it can help provide potential leads and ways for us to enhance our investigations going forward. The student we're looking for is anyone who has an interest in deciding how we can secure the country. That's the bottom line. You will, during the two-year period, come up with some kind of strategy that will hopefully 
give us insight. This is the next generation coming forward. We need a million new people who will have an understanding of what's necessary. And the reality to me is a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, who basically said, the best defense for democracy is an educated mass of people. And that's what we're trying to accomplish is by educating the next generation of Homeland Security leaders.